All right, man, torture talk, torture talk, torture talk. We back, we back, we back, man. We back with another one, with another one. All right, man, look, man, so look. Um, so today we're going to be talking about uh, Drake actually trying to stop sending a cease and desist letter to the Super Bowl before Kendrick Lamar performs. And, um... Yeah, we're going to talk about this, man, because this right here is what we all been talking about with your boy. This is what we've been talking about. And I don't understand why. It, but to see, this is this is what this is what this is. Man. This is what it is. When you can't accept a loss, you know what I'm saying? When you can't accept a loss. This is what happens. And Drake is so used to winning so much that or getting his way so much. Now that he has gotten to this point in his career and somebody put a stop to him, he can't accept it. So we're going to get into that. This come courtesy of the bill. You know, the bill. Y'all know the bill over here. We all like the bill over here. Make sure we all going to go subscribe to the bill. Trying to get him over 10K. You know what I'm saying? So look, man, we're going to get into that. I got to get my spill. This is Torch Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the sexy, beautiful ladies, but one in the chat, all the fellas. Y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, and if you want to promote your channel over here what, with, with you leaving a donation, make sure you leave the title of the channel so I can shout you out, or I can put that in the description but i can't put that in it because cash app is weird it won't allow me to do that you know what i'm saying so just took the title your name whatever or put your email yeah put your email and i'll email you and you can email me that's what we do yeah yeah put your email nigga put your email so yeah man i ain't gonna get too excited shit fall off my head and shit you know got my hair all crazy all right so look man we're gonna get to it man uh tell me where you from too yeah and I forgot the hidden gem part. Y'all know that, but let me leave it. All right, so let's get to it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Man, I can't believe what I'm hearing, bro. So WAC 100 has came out in a conversation and said that Drake was trying to restrict the NFL from having Kendrick Lamar perform Not Like Us at the halftime show during the Super Bowl. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. This is this is exactly what people been talking about for years about this dude. And I'm telling y'all, this is exactly why nobody comes to his rescue. Because people know exactly how this dude is. He's been sending the cease and desist letters. Rick Ross brought it up. Metro Boomin brought it up. People been seeing this dude for who he really is. We've been seeing this. And I don't understand why people still support this dude. Because he is what they call it, uh, uh, working backwards when it comes to hip hop. Now, normally, battles, beefs, whatever battles, that's it. You know what I mean? When you battle, it's over. But you're trying to send a cease and desist letter to Ken or to stop Kendrick from performing a song, and you was the one that started talking reckless. So let's keep it going. Play the clip right now. Oh, no. Nah. What did he serve who? Kendrick Lamar, so he can't perform not like us at the... Oh, oh no. That's some period. Where's that link? Audio up top. Audio up top. Get the likes up, y'all. Yeah, I think he should, though. He said all that stuff about him. That's on the national stage, though. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, man. I never understood this, bro. Now everybody's using the term national stage. Like, shut up. You never used that term before. You heard that on some news station or something, and now you want to use it. Or somebody said it in passing, and you, oh, I picked that up and put that in my vocabulary. Like, shut up. It's like, it, it cracks me up how people will, will side with Drake because he got smoked. And it's like, okay, I got to feel bad for him. But y'all always saying that he's the bigger artist. He's the one that can make the hits. He has several hits. He don't need nobody. 
It's 20v1, remember? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's him versus, he's, he's Thanos. What happened to all that? Now, all of a sudden, now y'all feeling sorry for the dude. The same dude who's, who's fucking everybody's girl. The same dude who's probably getting people set up. The same dude who's sneak dissing. The same dude who's been lying. The same dude who's made up stories. Y'all want to y'all wanna side with him. Y'all want to side with him, right? Right, right. I get it. Hey, Rod, or, or E, Bobby are you all the He should. He said about Kendrick, too. And the world that Kendrick's best word. friend in his yeah, life. He came after him. So what, what about, like, what? Because he didn't stick when Kendrick's did? Is that what you say? Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying now I'm very biased when it comes to Drake. <laughs> then get off of the show. Like, yo, if you listen, bro, this is what I was gonna say to y'all, right? This is what I'm gonna say to y'all. If you're biased, don't comment. You know what I'm saying? Don't comment. Don't go on these blogs. Don't go on these streams. Don't comment if you're biased. Because it makes no sense. Why would you comment on something? And you know that you're biased. Why? Your 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 opinion is automatically invalid because you can't be ob objective. You're being biased. That's the whole point. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I can be objective, but certain things I'm strictly biased on. But I don't really comment on things I'm strictly biased on. A lot of things I comment on, I'm I'm open to objection. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I wish people just realized that Drake lost. And I don't understand why they just don't take it. So it's true. Bad work. So money wise, all right, the safe thing he just said, okay, we're gonna do it anyway. Uh what what would he be looking at? Work on that. <laughs> nah, he's trying to get the NFL to restrict Kendrick. Oh, okay, I got you. He's trying to get them to restrict, you know what I'm saying? You think it's going to haul wax? I don't know. It's... How long has Jay-Z got something to do with it, it ain't? So, by the clip that y'all... Now, here's the thing, right? I'm going to be honest with y'all. The NFL most likely is not going to restrict Kendrick Lamar from singing that song. They, they not, because there's two reasons why. It's not disrespectful to the authorities, which means like police, stuff like that, you know, the president, whoever the president at the time, it's not disrespectful. So they're not going to, um, not going to sanction that. And if you think about it, he didn't call Drake a pedophile in the song. He said certified love boy, certified pedophiles. He was talking about his boys. He never he never directly said, you are a pedophile. He never directly said that. You know what I'm saying? Because he said, Baca got a real weird case. Why is he around? Certified love boys, certified pedophiles. You know what I'm saying? And he said, um, trying to strike a chord is probably a minor. You know what I'm saying? But he never said, you are a pedophile. Even though we all know what he mean, but he never said it. He chose his words very carefully just in case the song blew and he had to perform it. And that's what he did. And I'm telling you now, that's the biggest song of maybe the last three, four years. One of the biggest songs of the last three or four years. They're not going to stop him from performing it. Now, it might be up to Kendrick where he might take some words out or whatever. Or he might not say nothing. The crowd might say it for him, but who knows? We'll see what happens, though. This song right now. I'm not sure what WAC 100 source is in regards to this. I'm not sure where he heard this from, but Drake has had a past of sending cease and desist. One example would be Metro Boomin. Uh, Metro Boomin had went to Twitter uh, back in May during the peak of the beef and had said, "I'm lame, but this, but this first week after like that, you tried to block it at radio." I. Yeah, I just said that. I told y'all. He, he's he been doing this. He's been doing this. And a lot of people haven't called him out on it. I don't know. Maybe they're afraid that he knows people in higher places or whatever. And they'll get his, their stuff blocked or something. Who knows? Who knows? But 
Yeah, he's been doing that. He's been a, he's been a do ball. Sitting on this email for a month now, but was just sparing you. Oh, you ain't like that record. Now, this is a conversation that was had through email. For our conversation last week, we are not granting radio rights for like that. Epic does not have the right to release this song at radio. And this is what bothers me about the Family Matters song that Drake had did. It did not age well, and there's so much um, hypocrisy on the song, bro. One of the things that was said was, a cease and desist for what? Y'all tell me, a cease and desist for what? Can't listen to the lies that come out of your mouth. This is Drake's song, bro. And these are Drake's lyrics. And this is why it didn't age well. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, it's uh, it's so many different things that people picking apart with Family Matters, man. And I'm starting to realize that although it was a, it was a good moment, but all of Drake's songs really ain't really aged well. You know what I'm saying? If you, to be honest with y'all, they really haven't. Nobody talks about push-ups no more because that turned out to be debunked. And this here, you know what I'm saying? This one here, everything he's saying in there is people's picking it apart. It seems like people are doing more picking and digging and realizing that Drake's been manipulating them the whole time to what's the name to try to get this beef on his side. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the truth be told, that's what you're supposed to do in a battle. You're supposed to smear, you're, you're supposed to be on a smear campaign. Whether it's true or false, it don't matter. It don't matter whether it's true or false. It's what, it's what is believable. You know what I'm saying? Because battle rappers do it all the time. Battle rappers will come out and say, yeah, I fucked your mom and I fucked your sister, blah, 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 blah. But if you make a whole story about it, you know, because that might not be, be believable if it's coming from a dude who is lives in the suburbs and never shot a gun in his life and he said, yeah, I'll be busting those guns. You know what I'm saying? Like, just for a punchline, but if it's coming from someone who sounds believable and they sound like, and they feel you feel it, then they're going to go with you more. And that's how it is with rap. Rappers been lying for years. So I don't really care about that part because he could have a baby. He could not have a baby. Who knows? But I do know this. This didn't age well because people are starting to pick it apart. You know what I'm saying? Even if he's lying. But he was saying it as if it was the truth. And that's the problem. He clearly said he didn't send that that this cease and desist. But yet and still, people were saying he sent it. So let's keep it going. Because you have one example of Metro Boomin saying that, oh, you ain't like that record? What, cease and desist on the like that record? Oh, what, you ain't like that record? You get what I'm saying? And Metro Boomin is showing you that they emailed him about it. I'm not sure what WAC 100 source really is, but to completely be to be completely honest with you, in my opinion, I don't think the NFL is going to prevent Kendrick Lamar from performing "Not Like Us." This is the biggest song of the year, bro. There's people that are not even tapped in to hip hop like that, and they sing "Not Like Us" on a regular basis. <laughs> you got people in their 40s and 50s who don't even listen to rap singing Not Like Us, bro. Do you really think that the NFL is going to prevent that song from being played at the at the Super Bowl? It's more likely the reason why they want him to perform in the first place is to play all the songs that, that he's done and the ones that have came out during the beef. At least not like us and Euphoria, I feel like will be played at the Super Bowl. Euphoria has so many football references. I mean, just to just to name Euphoria alone had so many football references. And now we have Not Like Us, which is the biggest song of the year, bro. It might even win an award this year. But I wouldn't doubt if Drake tried to stop it from being performed at the Super Bowl. I just... And I, I'm 100% with you, Bill. I definitely think that he will do that. I'm, I mean, I'm not on the fence about this. 
I think Drake is a slimy dude. He's always been a slimy dude. He's always going to be a slimy dude because he's a privileged kid who who just so happens to invade hip hop and basically semi take it over in a way. You know what I'm saying? Or manipulate people to believe in that he's a hip, he's a huge hip hop star. I'm still under the belief and maybe y'all make maybe y'all might say I'm wrong for this, but I'm still under the belief that Drake's never been a hip hop star. He's always been a guy who's just used a rap component. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Because if you look at it, most of his hits are not hip hop hits. That's how I look at it. And everything Drake does doesn't mean it's a hit. I wish y'all would stop saying that too. And I got another Drake video coming up where I talk about uh, people were just delusional. And they're trying to spin this around as if, uh, which I'm not even going to get into it. I'm just going to say, yeah, we're going we gonna, we gonna to get into that. But let's let let's let uh, DeVille finish this out. That it's still going to be performed at the Super Bowl, regardless of the fact. But like I said, I'm not sure what WAC 100's source is. I don't think Family Matters aged well. There's a lot of hypocritical bars uh, that have been said in that song. So... Y'all tell me, man. All right, nigga. Yeah, man, make sure y'all go subscribe to The Ville. That's a good dude, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a real good dude. I like The Ville's content. He's a, he's, he is the best out of everybody to me. He's the best investigative journalist when it comes to these things. He, he breaks things down. And a lot of people use his videos, man. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people. I've seen people that have almost a million subscribers use his videos. So I think he need he deserves, out of everybody, DeVille definitely deserves to be up there. He deserves to have at least 100, 200,000 subscribers. So whoever y'all know, you know what I'm saying, tap in, send them over to DeVille. You know what I'm saying? Because he does great work. But, yeah, man, um, I definitely think that Drake is that guy to uh, do these things behind closed doors. He's He is, Drake is a bad person, and everybody knows this. When Kendrick said that, he wasn't lying. He's a bad person. And, and, and I'll put it to you like this. You know when a person is a bad person, if you don't even know this person, and you see their moves. Drake is the one guy that you that would be the superstar, and a, and a child would love to you know meet this guy, and they meet him and find out he's an asshole. That's Drake. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I wouldn't doubt it. I definitely think that he was going to do something to try to uh, manipulate the situation. But I'll be honest with y'all, he's the only one that's really keeping this beef going. Kendrick Lamar dropped one joint, and it lapped all his joints. You know what I'm saying? Drake dropped 15, 16 joints, and Kendrick dropped one. That should tell you who's the bigger artist here. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, I, I don't know. People say, well, it's remnants of, of the beef. This is the reason why. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. Because I could guarantee you, if Kendrick dropped an album today, and Drake dropped the album today, Kendrick will outsell Drake a hundred percent. He will outsell Drake a hundred percent. Now you could say, well, it's because they were beefing. Well, I could say the same thing to you. If it's because they were beefing, then why isn't Drake singles going? He's Drake. Remember he's Thanos. Snap the finger. He could get everybody out of here. What happened to that? Like now everybody want to backpedal now, say something else. I wish y'all just get it. He lost. He could accept his loss and everything would probably be better for him. But he can't accept his loss. And that's why we at the situation we in today with him. Because he can't accept the loss. That's just that. But either way, man, thank y'all for tuning in. I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for sticking with me. You know what I'm saying? To the end, um, you know, I do the best I could. I got to get back in the studio. But some people like this look and I got it working the way I want it to work. You know, you have to try it out a couple of times, but now it's working. I just had, I just hate to hold this mic up to my face because pause, nigga. 
You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so thank y'all for sticking with me, man. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate everybody out there. And also, too, don't forget, if you're going to donate, if you're going to donate and leave a link, make sure you leave, just leave your email and I, we could converse back and forth through email. You know what I'm saying? And then um, whatever, if you want me to help you promote, I don't care. I'm not asking for anything. You know what I'm saying? You being a subscriber is good enough for me. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get it together because there's a lot of money out here and we all can get it together. Trust and believe. So, all right, man, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all. Peace. Bye.